Loki. Marvel's Loki. Disney Plus's Marvel's Loki. It started out good. You had WandaVision, right? Made for television. Disney Plus. Really good. It made me wonder if Falcon and Winter Soldier were going to be as good because it had done so well. But then bang, Falcon and Winter Soldier in its own little niche. It wasn't the same type of show, but it was even better, I think. Loki has started out in such a way that if they continue on that same path of action and storytelling, it's going to be really good. Starring the incredible uh, Tom Hiddleston as Loki and uh, Owen Wilson, surprisingly, as uh, Agent Morbius. But the person I think is going to be one of the biggest uh, outbreak characters, not stars, but characters, is, uh, I'm going to say this wrong, uh, Gugu Mbathu Raw. I believe that is how you pronounce her name. That's how I read it, but that might not be how you say it. Uh, she is playing a Ravona, and that character is the love interest to one of the big bads I think is going to be in the new uh, part of the, the Avengers Marvel phase, um, the Time Lord, Kang, the Conqueror. That's his love interest. And right now we're seeing her, you know, just as a regular girl, just a regular girl. But it could be that she's already in cahoots with him. She could be cahooting because she's already doing the whole time thing now. And he's one of the, you know, he's eventually going to be like a time lord. And he's, he's conquering time. So things may be happening here that we're not aware of. Something that's going on in the series is somebody is killing, um, I guess, the patrolman. For time, think Time Cop with John Claude Van Damme. If you can recollect that show where he was going around stopping people from messing around with time, they had a whole agency to do that. That's what this is. They're going around stopping people from goofing around with time, and somebody's killing their agents. In the first episode, they're thinking it might be Loki, but I don't think it is. Um, Marvel specifically hid the character's ID. So, you know, cloaked that person in darkness, in a robe, in a, in a hoodie. And I'm thinking, ooh, I don't think that's Loki. I think that's somebody else. I'm curious. And the reason that they get Loki and they pluck him from time is to punish him for the stuff that he's done. But Owen Wilson saves him because he thinks he can help him catch quote-unquote evil Loki that I don't think is going to turn out to be Loki. I think it's probably going to be Kang, the Conqueror. But these are my thoughts. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. I'm just thinking that would be cool to see, you know. I guess we're going to find out. First episode was, was really good. We got a lot of a lot more in-depth look at the character Loki, what makes him tick, pulling him out of time and then forcing him to look at his life and the things that he's done and the moment where he dies and says, okay, well, because of what you have, what you've done, these are the ramifications of your actions, man. This is what happened because you did this, this happened. You set fire here, you know, you flipped a cigarette, and he walked away, but you didn't know that that set that house on fire. You know, you took a left turn instead of a right. This dude got splashed with water because you turned that way, and now he missed an appointment. Because he missed an appointment, you know, maybe he didn't sign a document that would have sent water to Somalia or something. I don't know. But different things that he's done in his life, because Loki, for some reason, was doing things that defied the... Um, the regular flow of time. He wasn't just like bamfing in and out of time, but certain things he was doing wasn't, wasn't supposed to happen for some reason. And people who have the ability to do that, they call them variants. So if right now during this 
uh, this, this, this video, I'm supposed to say, hey, look at my left hand. But actually, I go, hey, look at my right hand. They would probably come get me and say, dog, you weren't supposed to do that because it's going to make something happen in the future. It's going to deviate from the normal time stream. Sort of like when um, the ancient one was talking to Bruce Banner was like, look, if I give you this, this gym, the time stream changes. And she was like, zip, and she was showing him what happened. And he's like, no, no, I'll bring it back to that exact moment. They didn't, they didn't mess with him because he did exactly what he said and it worked out the way it was supposed to. But if it wouldn't have, they'd have probably come and gotten a bunch of people from there too and then zapped them out of existence that would suck but this this looks good there's a lot of there's a lot of moving parts that are happening with this show already there's a lot of things that i'm saying and i'm like oh that's going to be interesting that's going to be interesting oh this is going to come back hey i bet she really hates him now because he keeps doing that to her there's a lot of things that are happening that i'm very interested in and i like loki at least season one episode one so much that I would give this episode eight eight bags of popcorn man eight bags of popcorn because that's what I think about that but more importantly what do you think about it now that we've had a chance to talk about the video, let's talk about it some more in the comments. And as always, if you like this video, if you like the content, subscribe. And then like. Popcorn passport. Get your popcorn passport.